The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. I think he's cordially despised by quite a few people in the Senate. And, you know, frankly, this dust up over Canada is very revealing to me. I mean, here's a guy who, as you say, is Mr. Principal, Mr. Won't Back Down. There's nothing wrong with being a dual Canadian citizen. Well, if why you're is, running for president, why you can't that? be a dual citizen. Well, who says? He's a natural born U.S. citizen. He's perfectly eligible for the presidency. Okay? You know what why does he back down and renounce his Canadian citizenship? Why not just say to people, Charles once, I think, was a Canadian citizen. No. There's nothing wrong with being a dual citizen of the United yeah. States and our neighbors to the north. I'm, I'm stunned. About Labatt's versus exactly. Miller and hockey versus baseball. Why doesn't he just tell people what's wrong with it? Since I know my history a little bit better than you do, I never was a Canadian oh, citizen. Sorry. But, of course, he should renounce its citizenship. It's allegiance to another country, and I would say the British crown. Wasn't our revolution about allegiance to the British crown? It, it, it's silly for him to surrender to this silly no. accusation. Even if he wants to run for president. Well, maybe that's different. I mean, maybe... But for, isn't you know, that for, what this is all about? It, yes, it's about political advantage. Oh, it's not about on. principle or standing up for anything. If I were Ted Cruz, I would say to people, what in the it's heck is about, wrong with being a dual citizen of the U.S. and Canada? It's about the symbolism. If you're head of the state of the United States, you, you, you are the subject of another state. I think he knuckled under. That is it for the panel. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide.